head of the Maine CDC says not only is there one suspected case of enterovirus D68 here in the state, but there could be even more. Dr. Sheila Panette saying testing still needs to be done to confirm it. In the meantime, schools we talked to say they are taking precautions to keep kids safe from the rapidly spreading virus. You know, we're not seeing anything unusual here other than what we would see you know, every fall when we return back to school. Sue Radicanen is a school nurse at Falmouth Elementary School. She says this time of year, the school is typically dealing with fall allergies, colds, and maybe a stomach bug. While this year they haven't seen anything different so far, they are on the lookout for a virus that's spreading across the country, enterovirus D68. It's a respiratory virus with nearly 100 confirmed cases in the Midwest and now believed to be here in the Northeast. In fact, the Maine CDC says as of today, they are testing several suspected cases. Not surprising to Sue Radicanen. This particular germ does seem to present quickly. It seems to be really hitting kids with asthma and other respiratory issues. So we're definitely concerned. We're aware. Concerned enough, she says, that last week they sent out emails alerting parents. We did send a memo out to parents just letting them know that we're certainly aware of the virus, of what the symptoms are, and reminding them to keep their children home when they have any symptoms of illness. Symptoms include runny nose, sneezing, muscle aches, cough, and possibly fever. The virus can also cause breathing problems for children who have respiratory issues like asthma. The CDC says the best thing to do to prevent the virus is to properly cover your nose and mouth when you sneeze and cough and make sure you wash your hands. Additionally, the CDC says while people should be aware, they shouldn't be panicked. We are concerned but not overly concerned. And according to Dr. Sheila Panette, head of the Maine CDC, it could be a couple of weeks before results are back determining whether the suspected cases are indeed enterovirus D68. In the meantime, she says parents should be aware of the symptoms and take precautions.